सहनावतु सहन उभुनक्तु सह वीर करवाहे so not only simply reciting the mantra but if you mentally contemplate it prepares you for the lesson to receive and also to the teacher to give same question i will ask you are you applying these principles in your daily life you should apply you must apply yes we will commit some mistakes but but if you continue applying these principles you will find out yes there is a change then only you will know whether i have changed my behavior and attitude whether i have changed my responses to the world outside in the family in my personal professional social life it is very important otherwise uh, these this knowledge will remain only at the intellectual level when you apply these principles you start dropping you start dropping that vicious circle coming from the mind pops up from the mind and uh, we enter into the mechanical habitual life so now it has the time has come you all are seekers so we have done pranayamam pratyaharam nitya anitya viveka vicharam ah uh, jap samadhi vidhanam so the master i talked about it pranayama and pratyahara first two third is the viveka discernment we discussed and the fourth one we are talking about the japa 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 whether you see there is a one word japa mala mantra japa with the beads japa without beads japa with the fingers japa mentally japa whenever you are walking uh, you you are going for a morning and evening walk and just pick up the mantra <coughs> and start doing it you are helping your mind to return to the journey of self discovery any time anywhere in any location with anyone you are and that is why out of the five practices this this is one of the most important practices you are at home you are at home nobody is watching you so you can do it physically om shanti om shanti so you look you look at the segments of the fingers om shanti om shanti so eyes are there ears are listening tongue is working you see how many sense organs are working then you will so when couple of the sense organs and the motor organs are working for japa you are able to focus your mind you are able to withdraw your mind from the external sources om shanti Om Shanti. So, a couple of times you start doing it with physically seeing, with eyes you are seeing, eyes you are seeing. Om Shanti. I think I discussed about it maybe a year ago. <coughs> so, when you are doing it, so now after that, so what happens? Count, count number of sense organs are sense of touch. sense of touch physical touch sense of perception eyes hearing three tongue four plus the mind so out of the four organs of sensation you can reduce one how can you reduce one so touch 
continues and your eyes are closed. Om Shanti, Om Shanti. Um, because you have done with the eyes, so you have a clear image, so the mind will continue to withdraw. It will not look after any other images from the subconscious level. It's a very, very powerful, very powerful. And so I have done it. So you do it couple, maybe three and four times, uh, three and four times. If you have a mala, you can do it with a mala. And then what happened now? Now you, you have eyes are gone. Physical eyes is not participating. Now the sound is not participating. You do it mentally, but physical touch is still there. So you keep the physical touch uh, three and four times. <clears throat> and after that, don't touch and do it you will feel those vibrations. And you are doing it again on the fingers, mentally. And after that, you just sit. You simply say, Om Shanti. One thing I missed it, that with every time you say, Om Shanti, your mind contemplates the meaning. This is what the Patanjali says, in Japa. Om pure consciousness Shanti of the nature of the peace. Om Shanti. Now you will, your mind will pick up very easily. I discussed this a year ago in the same session. So just become aware how oh, my eyes are participating, my ears my tongue, sense of touch, including the mind, and start reducing, dropping sense organ, each and every sense organ. So that is what I say, that all the sense organs are working within the mind, through the mind. And that makes the japa so powerful. Very powerful. <clears throat> you are walking. You can do it. You are sitting. You can do it. Even when I was used to watch TV and I said, oh, let me do it. I lost interest in the TV serials. So I have to lose interest from the world outside, so that I can gain interest within myself. You have a problem. So first you do a couple of times, check that your mind has calmed down, then solve the problem. I'm not saying the Japa is going to solve the problem, but your power of discernment returns. <coughs> that is how we can apply this Japa in our daily life. And gradually, normally people say, no, I should be initiated into the mantra. Don't go for that. Don't find any, no, no, I will give you the mantra. I will initiate you all those rituals. Don't go for that. <clears throat> that will put you in a lot of challenges. Uh, we are not creating any cult, dogma and belief. No, no, no dogma. Om Shanti, Mantra, that's what, that is okay. Om Namah Shivaya. In, in every tradition, we have one or more mantra. In Buddhism, we, we say Om Namo, Om Namo Padme Hum. Om Krishnaya Namo, Kleem Krishnaya Namo. So there are many, many mantras. Om Shanti is such a simple mantra. Or Shantoham. Pick up that mantra. And your will, your commitment and consistency in the japa can take you to the higher meditative state. There is a reason to get initiated. So if you get initiated, you are a seeker and you get initiated. It means now the mind 
should commit itself. That is the rule of initiation. So you, if you commit yourself by yourself, there is no need. There is no need of any initiation. Any mantra can do. Any mantra can do. Last week, in the last session, I told you, <clears throat> uh, Balmiki is known as the first ever Sanskrit poet. Lived almost six to seven thousand years ago. He wrote Ramayana, a great epic. Uh, that epic also gives you the masses of Eastern wisdom uh, through the stories. He was a criminal. So he was initiated into this mantra. The mantra was Rama. Rama, two syllables. And if you reverse these two syllables, it becomes Mara. Mara Mara. We say in Sanskrit Mara. In Buddhism also it is known as Mara. Mara Mara. Mara means the Lord of Death. And the Rama means that permeates, that beautiful consciousness permeates everywhere in everything. Now see the meaning of the two. So he took the meaning, oh, the one I'm, I, I would realize, the one who permeates <coughs> everywhere, but he was reciting Mara Mara instead of Rama. From the criminal, he became a spiritual person, a realized person. He, he is respected and adored as one of the great masters of the Eastern West. So it means from that mindset of a criminal, you become a spiritual person. You become an awakened person. That is the power of the Japa. Consistency is required. You start doing it from today and forget that. No, I have to do it. How long? No, I will continue to do it. And when you do it, <clears throat> maybe after a few months, few weeks, you will start seeing the result. It will help you. It will help you not to fall into anxiety because mind goes again to the Om Shanti. You are at home, do it. With someone, do it mentally. At home, you can do it loudly. Om Shanti, Om Shanti. When you are with your friends, oh, you can put your hands, you hide your hands in, with the hands, you know, mentally, Om Shanti. Every time you are doing it, it puts you into the higher level of awareness. Level of the self-awareness will have to go up. Walking, talking, watching, doing anything, even in the restaurant. People say, no, it is a sacred mantra, why should you? So as long as you are in the restroom, you are not sacred. Forget about those rituals. You have to be very logical, understanding, <clears throat> <clears throat> so I brought the same verse again. In that seeking, I said, we should practice like the kakachesta, like a crow's effort of adaptability, of flexibility. I should do it. Bakudhyanam. Inside, the focus is on the mantra during the day. Swananidra. Even while you, you sleep while doing it. You remember when you wake up. If the mind is the, impure mind is the enemy, you are attacking that enemy from all sides. Think of that. I, I want to change. I want to change. I want to realize myself. And you will see the impact. Once your commitment is there, kakachesta, crows, effort, focus of a swan, uh, sleeping like a dog means alertness, alpahari uh, means, literally it means moderation of diet, but basically 
it has to do with the body and the mind, this kind of a self-discipline and grahatyagi. Grahatyagi, the literal meaning of grahatyagi, that you leave the house. So here it means you leave the house which is filled with the attachment and anxiety and duality and a kind. Well, do whatever happens. I fought with someone, but you do the mantra. No, no, I'm not in a mood. No, make your mood. So if you follow these small and easy guidelines, even if you leave me after a year or so, you will find the impact. You will see, yes, that is such a power of the mantra. So, you know, so each of these five practices are powerful in their own way. Their approach has to be right. Whether it's a pranayama, whether it's a pratyahara, whether it's a discernment, whether it's a Ha, japa. So you follow the power of discernment and that becomes very powerful, even more powerful than the japa. But if you follow the japa as if you are positively obsessed, no, no, I have to do it every, anywhere, everywhere, in all the relationship. Before I respond to someone, let me Continue mentally. Okay, let me listen to you. You will see your behavior and attitude constantly changes. Then there is another way, another part, another thing that is also covered. That how many times I have to do it. When you are doing it with a mala, uh, it is 108 beats. Uh, so in the beginning, you can start with 108. But if you are doing it with the fingers, so they are 16 times, minimum 10 times. Minimum 10 times. So it becomes 160 times. And then you see whether your mind is interested in doing more repetitions, do it. So why we count the numbers that we have to increase the numbers. We have to increase the numbers number of times we do it. 10 times with the fingers, 20 times, 30 times, and I adjust my timing. Why? In the beginning, we need to do that. We have to count. We have to understand that how many rounds I'm doing, how much time I'm spending. And once you recognize that your mind is naturally attracted to that mantra, then even if you do it 10-15 minutes, it will work. But it is one of the greatest practice to purify the mind, to gain the focus, and to awaken to the higher consciousness. Awaken to it. You will never you will find after a few months <clears throat> where my anxiety has gone. Well, well I, 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 I don't know. It takes time for me to react. So it takes time. Uh, you give a space. So now, should I react? You, and in that space, you have a power of discernment. You stop your reaction. <laughs> you stop your reaction. That is the power of the job. Never so... As I told you, don't go for uh, <coughs> any kind of a ritual. Just pick up any mantra. You like any mantra, pick up that and stick to it. Purification and transformation. It can transform the mind. But here, in the Master is saying, uh, <coughs> Master is laying too much of stress on the knowledge part. But the mind can receive the knowledge in a purified state. So that is why he related this. He says, okay, you continue to do the japa, so your mind will be purified, and you continue to listen and understand these principles. But in the beginning, we have to give too much importance to the japa, so that not only we become a higher level of a seeker, we are able to focus the mind, whatever the principles 
are taught, there is a greater receptivity of receiving the, those principles. That is why the Japa is done. But yes, if you continue, like Valmiki, he continued for a couple of years. He focused on only one practice. That too is good. So we are living our personal, professional, social life, so we cannot uh, do the Japa like Valmiki. But yes, still we can do it while walking and talking. So you introduce that. <clears throat> I have a woman in, who lives nearby in Chandler. So, so she said that, you know, I go for a dog walk in the morning, early morning. And then with one hand, I'm having a leash and the other hand, I'm doing the Japa. So she has been doing it almost for the last two years. Every day. She never forgets. Now you see, that is the beauty. Sometimes when you are a seeker, you start doing it. Your mind finds the ways of doing the Japa. And she finds that the moment I'm ready with my dog, I remember the mantra. Normally, when you remember any pleasure outside, you forget the mantra. <laughs> we, we have a lack of awareness. That is the power of the mantra. It helps you. So don't worry about any kind of ritual. Don't follow logically. And you will see. It is a very vast and a very complex subject area. In Tantra tradition, we have hundreds of the mantras. There are 16 types of, uh, 16 steps we have to follow before any mantra is recited. So that is a specialized practice. And <clears throat> those practices are done to gain some mental powers, clairvoyance, and like reading the mind of others, but if you are doing it, after a couple of years, you will find those abilities enters into your mind naturally. But we are not going there. We are not looking for that. They, they come. Well, no, but I have done for six months. No. Your mind is so much impure, six months is not a long time. It depends on that. So that is the power of the any mantra. I'm saying it. Any mantra you like. You like peace. Shanto hum is good. Om Shanti is good. Shivo hum. Your mind is logically can put uh, with a contemplation. Shivo hum means that I am the peace. I am the pure consciousness. Shivo so hum. So hum. So hum. I am the peace. Pick up any mantra. It will work. It will work. When women ask me which is the strongest mantra I should do the practice because I have a lot of frustration, I said, are you powerful? Only the person who is powerful will be using the mantra. Mantra becomes powerful. Mantra becomes powerful. Om Mani Padme Hum. That is the Buddhist mantra. You pick up any mantra. Uh, Tibetan Buddhism, we say. Huh? It's a bit, uh, it becomes a religious, and that's why not many Americans are attracted to it. But uh, uh, you might have heard about it, and you can Google out ISKCON. We have hundreds and thousands of ISKCON temples all around the world. And the master there, he picked up only one mantra. He influenced and motivated more than 100 million people in his 80s. And there are many ISKCON temples here in US also, and everywhere, in every part of the Europe, including Russia. 
and the mantra was Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare. By only this mantra. Yes, behind that he talked what I talked about, the same philosophy, same principle. So that is the, uh, I can give you hundreds of examples of these. So remember this. Just, you know, I'm motivating you that pick up anything, any mantra will do. Shanto, Om Shanti. I gave you, you know, you can say non-religious mantras. You can pick up any. But don't leave it. During the day, whenever you remember, there your mind, oh, let me do it 16 times on the 16 segments of the finger. Anywhere, you're watching the TV, so your mind is definitely attracted to a particular program or a TV. But okay, I'm sitting in a living room, so let me start doing it. <laughs> and you will see it will change your mindset. I can bet you that you are, wa you are watching any soap opera program you like it because of the pleasure that you receive it and you are doing it, after a couple of months, you will lose interest. You will get more interest in yourself. That is the power. And you are not fighting with your uh, pleasure-seeking mind. You are not avoiding the pain. You are simply doing it. challenges before any seeker is that lack of consistency. <clears throat> lack of consistency. Second is the lack of faith. What is that lack of faith? I'm saying shantoham and my mind says I am in stress. So I am contemplating on the meaning of the mantra. The meaning of the mantra is I am the peace. But your mind is already distracted. You are saying shantoham, no doubt, verbally, habitually, impulsively. But your meaning is, I am in stress. It will not work. It has to be both. So that is what I say, the lack of faith. This is what I say. Lack of faith in the meaning of the mantra. <laughs> I'm not saying, you know, you should have faith in the teacher. No, don't have faith. Very clear, very logical. When I say shanto, I'm the peace. No, but I have an anxiety. How can I have a peace? No, I should keep that contemplation and reflection intact. Shanto, I'm the peace. The mind will, mind will go back to the stress. No problem. Ah, shanto, I'm the peace. Shanto, I'm the peace. It will change. So there are two challenges. One is the lack of consistency, lack of faith. Third is the distraction. Well, you can also put under the lot of challenges. We have a lot of distractions. I commit that from today I have done 10 rounds with the fingers. And now because of the distraction, I leave in the pipe. It will not work. I'm not talking of the complex principles of this japa, uh, how it works at the subconscious level, unconscious level, how the intellect and the mind work, but I'm just giving you those challenges. Then we have uh, mechanical repetition. So mechanical repetition is that, so Balmiki said Mara. Mara means, meaning of the Mara is the Lord of the Depths. Uh, if I say Mara, a word is spoken in uh, Buddhism, and Mara, both, means the Lord of the dead. But his master told him the Rama who permeates everywhere. Oh, Rama, I have to see that Rama which is all pervading. Mara. Mara. Here he said. So mechanical repetition should not be there. That you all understand. Oh, I'm in a hurry. Will I do 10 rounds and will I get the result today? No. No. 
why you are in a hurry? Ask yourself why you are in a hurry. To engage you, your mind into the pleasure seeking outside in the world. Why you are fully busy? Because of this. And you want to remove all those problems. And you are. You're in a hurry. It will not work. The, what it means? Expecting immediate result. Not possible. Expecting immediate result. So the master also says, I'm just giving a brief and I will pick up one more session, give you some more understanding of this. Silent japa, you are doing it mentally. The time will come, you are talking and still non-verbally the mantra reverberates in your mind, in your head. What happened? You have separated your physical action from the deeper layer of the mind. A level of self-awareness goes up. That is one way of silent way. Then there is a whispering mantra. Shantuham, um, shanti, whispering sound. So when you do the mantra with the whispering sound, it absorbs your mind very fast and quickly. Do you see that how our masters have done the research and they have brought these principles. And then we do it loudly as I have been doing it. So you can do it loudly, you can do it with a whispering sound. You change the tone of repeating the mantra. If the mind is too much distracted, otherwise you are doing Om Shanti, Om Shanti, Om Shanti, and mind is too much distracted. Because don't do that silently. If you are doing it silently, in case of lot of distractions is there, mind will fall into sleep. So these are the some of the principles I highlighted. You can listen to it again and make it, and just do it, do it. Anywhere, anytime, in any location. And even if you started doing, you will start feeling the change. But don't expect the change overnight. It is not, seed does not become a tree overnight. You have to nurture it. You have to water it. You have to fence it. Uh, when they grow up into the sapling. So we have to ward against all those challenges of the mind and then you will see a result. So don't undermine japa or discernment or any of these practices. Pranayama, they all are very powerful. So he chose the five practices. Let us start our journey. Eyes are closed and place of the body, space all around. Posture of the body, you are comfortable. Find out how you are comfortable. So what we are doing, we are asking the mind, do you feel the body is comfortable? Mind says yes. Okay, then move ahead. Are you carefree? Oh, let me check. The thoughts are coming and going. Okay, I'm okay. I'm okay. Yes. So when you are okay, so your mind has already gone inside. Sarvesham swastir bhavatu. Sarvesham swastir bhavatu. Sarvesham swastir bhavatu. May there be happiness for all. Would you like to contemplate for a few seconds? Sarvesham shantir bhavatu. Sarvesham shantir bhavatu. Sarvesham shantir bhavatu.
May there be peace for all. So your mind is reflecting, oh, I'm in peace, you are in peace. My family, everywhere, peace is the essential nature. No, no, but my honey was upset. No, the peace is already inside. It is like a sweetness of a sugar. Mind don't talk at the uh, external level. You see, that is how you change the mind. Your understanding has to be very clear. Knowledge has to be very clear. No doubt. Sarvesham, Sarvesham Puranam Bhavatu, Sarvesham Puranam Bhavatu, Sarvesham Puranam Bhavatu. May there be completeness in all. I'm complete in myself. Means what? I, uh, all the desires are lost from the mind. No desire outside. That is the meaning of sense of completeness. Do you find Elon Musk and Bill Gates are complete in themselves? So we have a different meaning. Here the completeness is the reference that real self is always complete and whole. Why it doesn't change? Doesn't make any effort. Sarvesham Mangalam Bhavatu, Sarvesham Mangalam Bhavatu, Sarvesham Mangalam Bhavatu. So I enter into the auspiciousness. How come? I'm already feeling the calm and relaxed and comfortable, and that is the right moment, the right state to enter into the higher steps purify the mind move the mind inside now you see that uh, how i uh, designed the step i say look inside the forehead in the space start dropping the mantra silently so the japa is there now I say start breathing quick and short breath through both the nostrils. Pranayama is there. And because your focus is inside, Pratyahara is also done. So start breathing quick and short breath huh, through both the nostrils. So what happens? You are doing it silently. I told you when you are distracted or when you start the journey, your mind is, has too much of distractions. And if you do it silently, you will fall into sleep. So to prevent that sleep, we are doing the breathing. Now see that. So all the three practices are brought together with understanding, with knowledge. That is what the discernment is. So all the four practices are, four steps are integrated. Continue doing quick, short breathing through the nostrils into your rib case, Om Shanti continues to support, uh, to support the focus and to prevent the distractions. So what I say, keep the body still, do not move the body and you will discover. That is why you are getting a result what you share your experiences. But it doesn't mean that only this factor, every factor. Continue. Continue breathing. We have yet to do all the three types of breathing in every session. And uh, we will learn it. Endure it, remember. I told you, endurance, endurance. Endurance is required because of mind trying to force itself.
You just absorbed in doing the practice. Um, shanti, stillness in the body and the breathing. Here also you find a kind of absorption. Now stop this, allow the breath to be normal, pay attention to the flow of the breath and remain in that state of stillness. Find out the reason why we are doing the three types of breathing, why we are putting the mantra. Everything is the same, but breathing pattern changes. Look inside the forehead again in the space. Start dropping Om Shanti there and start with the belly breathing a little longer and faster. <laughs> expansion uh, and the contraction of the belly. <clears throat> expansion in the contraction of the belly. <clears throat> Continue.
Going into hissing, breathing into your belly, Om Shanti continues. So the mind remains within. Um, Om Shanti, oh, peace is there. Your, your reflection point is, yes, Om Shanti. Pure consciousness of the nature of peace. Now stop this breathing, allow the breath to be normal, pay attention to the flow of the breath, check if they are equal, very good, continue to pay attention if they are not equal, find out which flow is less. means the mind should be engaged with the flow of the breath. Effort is not there now. And that helps us to dive deep within. Do you see when we when we brought together the, all the three groups of practices, the japa, the pranayama, and including all the four, including the discernment, so how the mind starts behaving and responding. And in that state, start with the japa on the 16 segments without touching that, Starting the segment of a finger, Om Shanti. So you can do Om Shanti. You need not to be in a hurry, Om Shanti, Om Shanti. No. You have to do it consciously, Om Shanti. Then again, you mentally, your mind's eye looks at the segment. Then it gets ready. Om Shanti, mentally, non-verbally. And that keeps the mind's eye, mind's ear, mind's touch. That is very important point. <clears throat> so I did a very hard level of the 
step of the jepa in order to evolve faster. Um, shanti. So it depends on sometimes you get emotional, so your mantra will be um, shanti. even that is okay. That is okay. Now, the last step, moving the mind inside the cave of your heart, visualize the triangle of any color, the equilateral triangle pointing upward. Drop the mantra Om Shanti, moving the mind on each side of a triangle clockwise, anti-clockwise. And continue to watch, feel the sink is there. If you are able to sink, means what? You are able to move smoothly without any obstruction. And that is the right moment to push the mind deep inside the cave of your heart, singing mentally the long as if you are pushing the mind deep inside the cave of your heart, mind seemingly stops, drops, shanti, and done. Then you do nothing. You enter into a state of doing nothing, you have parked the car into the garage, done. No more driving.
Well, if your mind is distracted, you return again on the triangle, find the sink and then go back. So we are taking it casually, any distraction. We don't get upset. Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Bring your awareness on the right hand, your awareness on the left hand. Lift your both the palms, place it on your eyes, open the eyes inside the palms, know your experiences, and bring the hands down. Share your experiences. How are you, Stephen? I'm good, sir. Thank you very much. Um, that was uh, extremely deep. Um, I, I fell into meditation immediately. 
Um, one thing that stood out is that at the completion of the fast breathing, um, it was I, I saw a, a kaleidoscope of colors. Um, acknowledged it and just kept falling deeper and deeper into meditation, and um, I, I struggled to come out of it. Um, but very peaceful. Thank you. Beautiful. That's a beautiful explanation. How are you, David and Jerry? You know, the lesson is, is uh, simple, uh, do the work, and also understand the work we're doing, meaning, you know, know what the mantras you choose to do for your japa mean, and just focus on that. And it's it's so simple, just do the work. Um, my meditation was uh, very peaceful, very deep. I immediately went into meditation as soon as you said, close your eyes. Beautiful. Yeah, that's a beautiful explanation. How are you, Jerry? Sir, I'm good, thank you. Um, I had the opportunity, there was a lot going on in the room. And so in the beginning, I, I said to the mind, like a crow, I said, oh, well, adapt. Yeah. And, and tell them, bring all the senses inward. So close the eyes, listen. And the alertness to your words and the meaning of the japa and the idea of the transformation that can occur with the japa uh, was a new level of understanding for me. Um, so in the way that, um, that we can transform in any situation yeah. if we're present. Yeah. Uh, and so the Japa just really helps us to facilitate and and fine tune that alertness and that ability to see where am I being habitual or um, reactive and know that we have the opportunity to change that. Beautiful. Yes, beautiful. Yeah. You see that, you know, we have to take guard ourselves while doing the Japa. Crow's effort, adaptability and resourcefulness. I should adapt into any situation. That is what I discussed in the Japa, that can I adapt myself and keep continue doing the Japa? So that also gave rise to an understanding of how I can adapt to the different situations. Beautiful. That is good. How are you, Dennis? Thank you, and thank you for the explanations and some hints to improve uh, my Java practice. I've, I've taken some notes for, for further improvements. And as far as um, my meditation, it was uh, peaceful and comfortable. Uh, and uh, at the end, there was experience of stillness, not only in the body, but also in the mind. That is good. Good. Yes, we should be very clear. Knowledge is more important in the Eastern wisdom. Logical reasoning is more important in the Eastern wisdom. Definitely there is an importance attached when we got initiated into any mantra by a master. So I will talk briefly about that. But sometime even if we got initiated by the teacher, we forget it. The next day. It means I'm not an eligible seeker. So we have to be very uh, clear about this. How are you, Terry? I'm good. I'm good. Um, most, I, I feel like what David said about doing the work. Doing the work is very important. And notice. So it was just that, and then noticing what happens. Yes. Um. With you know, and that was the whole thing. Yes. You're right. Very important doing the work. See, it means I forget today, and then I remember I have to do it. So again, let. This doing the work reminds me that I have to continue. Besides 
leaving aside all the uh, crazy stuff attached to the Japa. We need not to go for it. How are you, Barbara? I'm very good, thank you. Um, the meditation is peaceful and calm. I found that the mantra and the meaning of the mantra were coming to me simultaneously. Um, but when I descended into the cave of my heart, I couldn't stop the mantra. It just kept continuing. That's good. That was very good. So consciously, it means we are conscious of the deeper state. Because I'm fully aware, the mind dropped in, the mantra dropped into the heart and it continued on its own. It's a beautiful, that's another level. How are you, Christina? I'm well, thank you. Um, having listened to the teaching and doing the practice from Monday to today, the knowledge about the mantra has really stuck in. So I kept trying to practice and remember to do it. And then I would forget and then I'd remember to do it. And so just watching my mind ping pong um, every day, all day. <laughs> yes, I forget. So you will recognize that why I forget to do the mantra because the mind is already absorbed into the external world. Sometimes it gets upset, sometimes it gets stuck on something, sometimes it is absolutely busy. So everything, uh, I bec start becoming aware that how many layers of the mind is attached outside. That is causing the challenges. But if we continue to do it, we find, yes, it is possible. Yeah, that's a good way to say that I forget and I do it. Yes, how are you ever? Uh, thank you, sir. The mind became calm, totally absorbed. Good. Became calm and totally absorbed. How are you, Sangeeta? Uh, uh, yes, I think uh, that need also that part needs to be covered. You see that when you have a single syllable mantra, like single word mantra, not single syllable, like Om, Om, Om. So either you forget or you continue. But now there are two syllable, two word mantra, Om Shanti. Om is one word, Shanti is the another. <clears throat> so you are doing Om Shanti, Om Shanti, Om Shanti. And then what happens, the mind says only Om, Om, Om. It has forgotten Shanti. So I have to recognize if the mind, what the mind is doing, where the mind is gone how the mind is distracted, how the mind restricted from the two world to the one world. Maybe some, some kind of unconscious material is there. So once we have chosen the two world, yes, we have to continue. We have to remind ourselves. We have to repeat it. Simple way. Beautiful. Continue. This week, continue 24 by 7. You sleep, you do it. When you look at your honey, Om Shanti. When you look at anyone, Om Shanti. Look at your son, Om Shanti. <laughs> look at the money you're depositing a check, Om Shanti, and see what happens. <laughs> no worries. You will not forget. You will continue to deposit your check into your account. You, I know that. You will not deposit into my bank account. So you just follow this and see what happens. Uh, so just a challenge to you. That is all for today. Thank you very much. Uh, namaste. Thank you so much.